We should believe in a preach the gospel. Because Jesus said, go and preach the gospel. What were Paul and Silas doing while were they in prison? With their feet chained and beaten. Can you imagine that? Severely flogged. In Southing, most crudely. Severely flogged. In Southing, crudely. We can only imagine what that means. Our anger has been imaginable. That's it. Did they doubt God? Did they have one idea to become a missionary? Ah, no, my last friend, he was a missionary. I was doing so well in my religion. Paul would have said. I had respect from everyone. I had honor wherever I go. And now I'm in a miller cell, meeting, and chain. What do they do? Praise the Lord. They were singing and praising the Lord. And if you want to mend your well. And if you want to remove the rubbish that's in your well, Pastor Lin gave us something that we can do. And one of the one of the four things he mentioned is to praise and worship. The last point he mentioned was move up and out. Move up and out. And that's what I'm talking about today. Move up into the next level. If you go out, if you make your first step of faith like she did, against all feelings, that's a step up. Now let's not go back again. Because we must make that step and keep on going. That word go, go. It's an eternal going on. It's a participant. You keep on going. You don't stop. Because God sent us again at the same time. He wants us to go keep on moving. And He wants us to keep on growing. Now, if you set your eyes on the things of this earth, that's where you stop. That's where the cracks come in the world come in. And that's when the rubbish of this world will come. But if we move on and keep on moving one step at a time going up from one level into the other guess what will happen? We will become transformed into the likeness of Christ. Paul uses the phrases from grace to grace. Change into the likeness or image of Christ by the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. It's not something that we do within our own effort. Yes, we will need to make courage. Moses was told by God, be courageous. And one of the greatest generals of those days called Joshua. God, God said to him, as I told Moses, so I say to you, be very courageous. I am sending you. You need to be courageous to move forward and upwards and being a salt 
in the start and the fresh generation.